Thanks very much for joining us here today as part of Positive Aging Week 2020. For our viewers at home, would you just introduce yourself and give a little bit of background to your organisation and to what you do? So my name is Leonora Fitzgerald and for the last number of years I've worked as a community infection prevention and control nurse and I've been a member of the regional flu planning group in the South East Community Healthcare Organisation. Okay, if I was to ask you for an, an opening statement for our viewers to grab them in, what would it be? So we are in 2020 and coming through um, a global pandemic with COVID-19, but we're also entering into um, winter season. So this is flu season. So it is to know that influenza, flu and COVID-19, these are both highly infectious respiratory tract infections. So we, we really need to do everything that is available to us to stay safe coming into this season. But we have one major protective factor against influenza is that we have the flu vaccine. We, we don't have a vaccine yet for COVID-19, but we have a highly effective, safe vaccine for, for flu. Okay. And it's encouraging everyone to get that now. And what is seasonal influenza and why is it so important to get the flu vaccine this year? So as I said, it's a highly infectious respiratory tract infection and it, it causes acute illness in, in many people, but particularly in the older population and those with underlying health conditions. Also pregnant women and young children and healthcare workers are, are the vulnerable groups that we're really focusing on and encouraging them to get the flu vaccine. But this year we really want everyone to get the flu vaccine. What is the flu vaccine and how safe is it? So the flu vaccine is very safe. This vaccine has been around for the last 60 years and has gone through lots of trials and is, is highly regarded as being one of the safest vaccines out there. And, and we, we are encouraging all the vulnerable groups to get the vaccine this year. And, and we have been encouraging for the last number of years for us to really realise that the more people that get the vaccine, then the greater protection that we can give to the vulnerable groups and to keep the population safe. So the vaccine offers us protection by stimulating our immune system to produce antibodies to fight against the virus. Okay, I didn't actually know that. So I know you said the, the vulnerable, but who would you recommend to get the flu vaccine? So this year, it, during COVID-19, we're encouraging everybody to get the flu vaccine, but in particular, those in the vulnerable groups. And we're focusing in particular is the older population so those over 65 and like this year everyone regardless of their medical status or medical card all people over the age of 65 can get the flu vaccine from free for free from their gp or pharmacy this year other vulnerable um, population groups are those with, with disability and underlying health conditions young children and, and pregnant women and healthcare workers. And can young children get the vaccine? So this, this is an important uh, measure that has been rolled out this year, is that it is a nasal vaccine that will be available in, uh, available in October for children aged between two and 12 years. And as I say, it's a nasal spray vaccine that can be accessed free of charge for children aged between two and 12 years. Okay. I suppose it's coming to my mind, if a person is concerned about getting the vaccine, who can they go talk to about it for advice? Okay, so, so most people would have a relationship with their GPs and, and GPs are wonderful to, to have available um, vaccines for their patients, but also to explain um, why it's important and also to answer all those questions for them. So, and also your local pharmacist are excellent resources too. And there's lots of information on hsc.ie forward slash flu. Okay, brilliant. The other thing that, that just I'm thinking as you're talking, let's say I'm an older person at home and maybe I have a home support worker visiting. You know, are they protected as well? How? Okay, so we should, we should encourage everybody that we're having close contact with to have the flu vaccine this flu season. So 
home support workers, our healthcare workers as well, and they're visiting, you know, they may be visiting one home or a number of homes, and it is important that they would also get the flu vaccine and would be encouraged to do so. I, as a health professional, have a duty of care for those that I'm taking care of. So I would, would get the flu vaccine and in protecting me, I'm offering that protection to others. So to patients, to residents in residential care facilities and, and also to my work colleagues and, and other vulnerable people. When we were chatting before we came on camera, you mentioned to me numerococcal vaccine. And I was just going to say, could you tell us a little bit about that and, and why it's important and when to get it? OK, so influenza vaccine and pneumococcal vaccine are, are against different diseases. But the pneumococcal vaccine is, is a vaccine that's offered once off. Now, you may have been given it under the age of 65, but once you reach 65 and five years have passed, you should get the pneumococcal vaccine as well. And this is a good time of the year when you're visiting your GP for your flu vaccine, you can also get the once off pneumococcal vaccine. Just dawned on me, because I suppose we're talking about encouraging people to, to get the flu vaccine. Is it available at the moment or have I to wait? OK, so yes, the flu vaccine is in the country and I would encourage everyone now to make that appointment with their GP practice or their pharmacist, wherever they've got it in the past. But, you know, it, it might be a good idea to have a conversation and, and talk to their GP pharmacist about getting it and, and really make that appointment as soon as possible. Well, you've really encouraged me to go and talk to my GP or my pharmacist about the flu vaccine and I really appreciate it. Is it okay if we just go over a few myths and facts, Leonore, about, about the flu? I mean, one of the things that, that would come to my mind is, well, I'm fit and healthy, but like, do I need to get the vaccine? So yes, we're, we're irrelevant of health status and age. We're encouraging everybody to get the, the flu vaccine. Um, it, it has been shown in a study that like one third of people who are admitted to ICU were previously fit and healthy. So it, it is something that we all need a responsibility in protecting ourselves is that I could carry the flu virus and be asymptomatic, but I can spread it. But if I have the flu vaccine, then that risk is eliminated. So both in protecting me, then I should also protect others by getting, so by me getting the flu vaccine, like I said, protecting my the patients and, and residents in residential care facilities, I'm protecting them, but I'm protecting my colleagues, I'm protecting my family, my friends, and, and this is, if we're all doing that, then it is, it's really important. So it's irrelevant, your age and, and health, but it is how we can protect others. If I get the vaccine, will I get the flu? So no. And, and, and this has been something that over the last number of years as somebody has felt unwell after they've got the flu vaccine. It's just to know it takes two weeks after you get the flu vaccine for you to get full protection and immunity against the flu virus. And you may have met the flu, um, have been incubating the flu virus before you got your vaccine. Um, but the flu vaccine is, is a dead virus. It's, it's not live. So it's not like we're giving you some virus to see how you get on. This, this has been um, treated and, and that it is, it's like a mugshot of the virus. It's so your body recognises and is ready to protect you. But it, it doesn't, it is not a live virus that you will get from the vaccine. So there is no way that you can, you can get the flu from the vaccine. I suppose, you know, is the flu not just like a cold really? So it, in many ways, the flu is very different to a cold. So the, the common cold is something that comes on gradually and the symptoms are much milder. The, the flu, some people don't have symptoms, but if you get a real um, bad um, influenza virus, like if you feel really unwell, the virus can be quite um, challenging to your well-being and, and really you will feel like fever and, and cough and, and weak and chills and aches and pains. And, and really for five to seven days, you, you will feel the, the huge impact of having this virus and fighting it. So cold and flu are, are very different. Um, so it, it is, we, we don't have a virus against the common, or, and don't have a vaccine against the common cold, but 
the, 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 the flu can, we know the flu can kill and, and cause, cause people to be in very challenging health um, situations. So that is why it's so important that a vaccine was developed to protect against this potentially life-threatening disease. So I suppose the message I'm, I'm getting from you is, is go chat to my GP and my pharmacist and regardless really of what age category I fit into, go talk about the flu and, and protect myself against it. Yes. Yes, and we're, we're focusing on older people, but it's older people having that conversation with their families, their carers, and, and that everybody then will protect each other. That, that older people will protect themselves, but those then that are caring for them will take on part of that responsibility with them. This has been so informative. Thank you so much. Just before we finish up, do you mind giving the HSE website again for our viewers? So yes, the, the HSC website is www.hsc.ie forward slash flu. Thank you very much. Thank you.